Hello from isolation. I have not been in my studio for probably three and a half weeks and I wanted to be able to share something with you guys and help keep you moving and keep you fit while we're all going through this. But honestly, I haven't really been inspired myself. So if you're feeling like me and everything just feels tight and you're not really feeling that sexy right now, I get it. Um, I hope that this allows you to like move your body a little bit. It's a full body warm up that I do before pretty much all of my sexy fitness classes. So it takes about a half hour. Um, I wanted to add some music to it, but then I thought, you know what? I really just want this to be about you. So play some upbeat, fun, whatever, get your hips moving, your body moving kind of music. Or if you just feel like super chill and yummy and you wanna play some like really cool chill vibes, do that. Do whatever feels good for you and your body. It's an all levels workout, so I'll give you guys some modifications depending on how you're feeling, how strong or flexible or not you're feeling, and I hope it just really feeds your soul right now because I know it is going to feed mine. Standing with your hips wider than shoulder width apart, we're gonna inhale arms up and overhead. Exhale, and again. Mm. Really feel like you're scooping as much energy from the room as you can. And exhale it all out. Get on this last one, inhale up. Interlace the fingers, reaching up nice and tall. Good, we're gonna circle just the upper part of the body, just rounding through the shoulders. and circle back the opposite direction. Good. And then we're gonna bend the knees, circle down, inhaling up and overhead for three. And then back the other way. Opening the arms, dropping them to your squat. We're gonna keep the legs exactly where they are and extend, reaching through the torso, side to side. And then coming back to the center, turn the palms facing up, rounding through the shoulders. Inhale, open arms, open chest. Exhale, round. and then interlace the fingers, staying in that squat, dropping it down, up and squeeze. Down and hold. If this feels good, coming up to one side, toes. Lower it down, up on the other side. I know the legs are burning. And then popping up to both. Lowering the heels, extending the legs, shake them on out. Inhale, arms up. Reach. Exhale, fold. Gonna shake into those hips side to side. Then bend the knees. Inhale, rise all the way up. And shoulder rolls. And shoulder rolls forward. Inhale, arms up again. Interlace the fingers, stretch, reach. And over to the right side. Looking underneath the armpit, careful not to rotate down just yet. Then we'll come up, rotate to the side, and flat back. Oh, good morning, hamstrings. <laughs> Hands to the floor, thigh, ankle, wherever's comfortable for you. Inhale, draw the chest forward. Exhale, folding toward the leg. 
and then we'll draw the toes back toward us, getting a little bit deeper into that stretch. Lower the toes, come to the middle, hang in your forward fold. We're gonna put hands on the floor, or if you have a block, you can put them up higher. You can come up to the tippy toes. Exhale, heels down to the floor and fold. And again, inhale up. Exhale, heels and fold. One more time like that. And bend the knees. Inhale, arms all the way up. One more time, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, reach over to that left side, looking up under the armpit. And then coming up, turning toward the other side, flat back, hand to support, knee, ankle, all the way to the floor, chest reaches forward, exhale, fold. Wow, my body has not moved like this in a long time. <laughs> Draw those toes back toward you, getting a little bit deeper into that hamstring connection. Lower the feet to the middle one more time. Shake that booty. <laughs> and then lower it all the way over to the right side. Bring the left toes up. And if you can, stay low, going over to the other side. If that's too difficult, push through up into the middle and then over to the opposite side. We'll do two more like that. And then rotate toward that right side. Nice deep lunge, making sure to stack your knee over your ankle. We don't wanna be over or behind. Chest is reaching forward. We're gonna lower the back knee, relax the feet. Inhale, arms up. And then hands to the floor. We're gonna pop back up into that lunge. Straighten the legs. And deeper into the lunge, chest reaches forward. Exhale, straighten the legs. Head and neck relax. Inhale, chest reaches forward. We're gonna lower that back knee one more time, keeping your left hand on the floor. Twist. Making sure to breathe in your twist. And hands to the floor. If that feels good, you can come down to the forearms and go a little bit deeper into that lizard stretch. And then coming back up onto the hands, curl the toes, pop it up, walking through the middle, get a little shake in their center, turn to the left side, lunging it down. Chest is reaching forward. Lower the back knee, inhale, arms up. And hands to the floor. We're gonna curl those toes, pop up into our forward fold. Inhale down, lunge, chest reaches forward. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, straighten. And then coming back down to the back knee one more time. We're going to leave that right hand down, left hand comes up and twist. And then hands inside the foot. Again, if that feels good, stay there. Otherwise, you can come down onto the forearms, getting a little bit deeper into your stretch. And then popping back up through the middle, forward fold. Nice little shake out. Walk your hands forward and your feet back. We're gonna walk your downward facing dog. So I'm gonna turn for you profile so you can see what I'm doing. I wanna push back away from the floor, letting my tailbone be the highest point of my body. And then by alternating heels to the floor, I can walk my downward facing dog. 
Now you can always keep your knees bent in your down dog, totally fine, or you can go to a fully straight downward facing dog. And since it's our first one of today and my first one in a long time, really just take a moment and enjoy that space. Maybe just curl forward, rock back. And always know that you can take a break in child's pose if you ever get to be tired or it's too much. If not, and you're ready to push on, we're gonna inhale that right leg up toward the ceiling, keeping our hips square. We don't wanna open it just yet. So nice square hips toward the floor, extending out through the feet. Then we'll rotate that hip open, look underneath the armpit, and allow this top leg to just bend at the knee. And we're gonna bring that leg all the way through. If you're not feeling super strong in your plank, go ahead and place the knee on the floor and then open up side plank. If you're feeling good in your planks, go ahead and go for the full pose, full variation. Bring the hand back to the floor, extend the leg back up toward the ceiling. And then we're gonna bring the knee all the way forward, rounding up like a cat, trying to touch my knee toward my nose. Exhale, extend. One more time. Then we're gonna go all the way to the armpit on that same leg. Exhale, extend. And to the opposite armpit, twist. Exhale, extend. Again, taking a break here if you need it. Otherwise, inhale the opposite leg up. Pushing the floor away. Opening that top hip, allowing the knee to bend and that foot to just fall behind you. Bringing it back up, knee toward the nose. Exhale, extend. And then all the way to the knee. Opening up side plank or just bring it all the way through. Open up side plank. Hand to the floor, leg comes back up. Coming all the way forward to the armpit. Exhale, extend. To the opposite armpit, twist. Exhale, extend. Then we'll come down to both knees. Nice and wide, fold back, child's pose. Taking a few breaths here. And then coming up into your seated position. If this is comfortable for you on your knees, that's great. If you'd like to sit on a block so that your knees aren't fully compressed, you can do that as well. Or just have a seat on your bum in a nice, comfortable cross-legged position. We're gonna bring our arm in front, hook underneath with the opposite arm, and come back up to my knees, because that feels good for me. You can allow your head and neck to just circle here. Oh my God, crunch, crunch. And then bring that arm up and overhead, grab a hold of the elbow, tuck it behind the head, sitting up nice and straight. and then allow the arm to come down, reach behind the back, grabbing a hold of your bicep, bring your chin toward your chest, Ooh, big stretch. And then leaning away from that arm. Even if this is all you do every day, it's gonna help a lot. Keeping your neck relaxed, your shoulders, a lot of us carry stress right here at the back of the neck. Other arm, scoop underneath, Drawing the shoulder blades down as we circle oh, the head and neck. And bring that arm up and overhead. Tuck the elbow, sitting up nice and tall. Release the arm, reach behind the back, holding onto the bicep. 
chin to chest. Leaning over to the opposite side. Oh. <laughs> and then coming back to seated. Let's get in some cat cows. We'll do it on both sides because we're gonna add some sexy hip circles. So I wanna make sure to stack my shoulders over my wrists and my hips over my knees. So I'm in a nice tabletop position. As I inhale, I'm gonna lower my chest, raise my tailbone and the crown of my head. As I exhale, I wanna push the floor away, curling my pelvis, rounding through my shoulders and really uh, contracting my abdominals here, like I'm getting punched in the stomach. It's really easy to do cat cows and not do a whole lot of work. So you really take this time to find that extension and that strength. Ooh. Really flexing, feeling the stretch through the shoulder blades, allowing the head and neck to relax. One more. And then we're gonna come back to a neutral spine and we'll start with some hip circles. So as I go to the right side, I'm gonna then circle over to the left. As I come forward, I'll round through the shoulders again, continuing my circle. So these are our sexy cat cows. <laughs> so I'm gonna come down, really allow my head and neck to relax and continue with that circle. As I take it up a notch, I'm gonna allow my hands to slide forward and my hips to come all the way down and then push back again through my circle. If my hands need to move, it's totally fine. I'm not confined to this rectangle on the floor. <laughs> so really allow your feet, your hips, everything to just follow the movement. And then we'll add the toes. So this time as I come down and forward, my right toes come up. I'm gonna switch in the middle before I push back to that right hip, circling to the left and repeating it all over again. One more time like this. And take a rest in child's pose. Coming back up to a seated position, whatever feels comfortable for you. We wanna stretch out the neck again a little bit more. So grab a hold of your earlobe and just add some pressure, allowing that shoulder to relax. We're gonna circle our head and neck down toward our chest, over to the other side. Grab a hold of some earlobe and gently put pressure. Circle down and over. As many times as feels good to you. I still have a lot of crackling going on in there. I don't know about you. <laughs> All right, so our second set of cat cows will do the same thing. We're gonna inhale, lengthen the spine, reaching up through the crown of the head and the tailbone. Exhale, pushing the floor away. And then we're gonna repeat those sexy cat cows, but to the opposite side. So over to the left, then the right, coming up and forward, tucking through that cat pose and push back. And then our hands slide forward as our hips come all the way down and push all the way back. One more time like this, just cause it feels so good. <laughs> and then we'll add the toes. Left toes come up as we drop the hip down and forward, switch in the middle and push back to the left side. Up and forward and back. And one more. Finding our resting place in child's pose. And 
and then coming back to our seated position, we're gonna get some side body stretches in. So we're gonna place our right hand down on the floor, left arm comes up and overhead, and really tracing the sky. As we inhale up and exhale over to the other side. If going all the way down to the forearm is too hard, you can stay up on your tippy toes. Just make sure you can really feel that extension or the fingertips, sorry. You can keep that extension through the side body, wherever feels comfortable for you. If you have to come up in order to bend your arm, stay seated. Just keep your arm uh, extended. Mm, now this time we're gonna reach back with the right hand. Hips are gonna come up as we reach back, opening up into our first back bends. Circle, trace a circle all the way around on the floor. And extend. And around. Extend. One more time each side. And then go ahead and come down onto one hip, <sighs> bringing that top leg, knee facing up toward the ceiling. From here, we're gonna lift our inside leg, flexing through the toes, and then pulse it up using our inner thighs. Just like eight to 10 times is good. <laughs> Whatever feels good for you. Lowering that leg down, bring the top knee in, and then keeping this nice, parallel plane all the way back. Knee comes forward, extending out through the heel like a front kick, and then circle point all the way back. Really warming up those hips. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> Bring the bottom knee in, top knee comes up, extending through the top leg wherever feels comfortable for you. If it's not here, if it's here, that's great. Just keep the leg straight. And then try to pull that leg a little bit closer to get a little bit more stretch. You can point and flex the top foot. Circle the top foot. And then we're gonna circle the entire leg, but we want the hip to do the work. So as the leg scrapes a circle on the floor, the knee comes in, leg extends, and continues through the circle. So again, wherever that is for you. <laughs> we just wanna make sure that we're building all of this active flexion. And then both legs will extend out to straight. We're gonna lift that top leg and bring it back down. You can come up a little bit higher on that forearm, reach behind, grab a hold of the ankle, and then push the hip forward, stretching the quad muscle. We'll sit all the way up onto the hand. We're gonna curl that top knee into our chest, then extend it up, pushing the floor away, reach up and arch back. Let's do three like that. And on this last one, we're gonna extend the bottom leg as well. So we're gonna hug, extend both legs, pushing the hips up, reaching up and back. Good, then we're gonna come onto our elbows, onto our forearms, bringing our legs up into the sky. We're gonna open up into what I call the big money shot. My students know this, and close. And then we're gonna add some TikToks so keeping our knees together, we're gonna to bring that left foot down to about, I don't know, six o'clock, seven o'clock, back up, down to about four o'clock and up. So you can do a couple like this and then maybe go all the way around the clock, all the way around the clock. Open up again for that big money shot and then bicycle the legs. So as we're bicycling the legs, we wanna keep the pelvis uh, curled toward our chest. And then we're gonna roll our bicycle side to side. So as I lean to my right side, 
I'm gonna be on my right forearm. I'm gonna come up to my opposite hand to roll to the other side. So whatever side I'm leaning on is the straight leg. I'm gonna roll that from side to side. Working my obliques, making sure to keep my core nice and tight. The less curled I am, the harder it's gonna be on my abs. So I really wanna make sure to keep my pelvis tucked and that's gonna make it a little bit easier and keep my abs engaged the whole time. So now we're gonna lay it back, hug in knees to chest. Opening the knees. You can grab a hold of the big toes or the outside edges of the feet, whatever feels good to you, keeping your lower back nice and flat to the floor. Happy baby. If you wanna rock that happy baby side to side. <laughs> and then keeping hold of the feet, go ahead and work those legs to straight. This is our happy partner, happy lover pose. <laughs> and then bring the knees back in, roll it up, and we'll go all the way to the other side and do the same thing all over again. So coming down to that forearm, extending through the bottom leg, out through the heel, flexing the toes, we're gonna do some leg lifts. And then lowering that leg down, top knee comes into chest, kicking out through the heel, circle, point the toe. Bring it in and extend. So really keeping that nice level plane, kind of like a locomotive. <laughs> reaching back, extending out. So again, it's really easy to just go through the motions and do stuff and not really get a great workout. So make sure that you're really taking the time to extend fully and reach fully, making sure that you're taking advantage of the time that you set aside to do your workout. Bring the bottom knee in, top leg up, straighten that leg and pulling it toward you. You can point and flex the top foot. Circle the top foot around, change direction. And then circle the entire leg, reaching back, knee comes up, leg extends, and circle. Really warming up that hip, working on that flexion. And then both legs will come out to straight. Inhale the top leg up, lowering it down. So you'll notice I'm not just kicking. This is not a, <laughs> it's not a kicking movement. It's a very controlled, um, isolated squeeze. And then reaching back, pushing the hips forward, stretching the front of the leg. And coming up a little bit onto the hand, we're gonna draw the knee into chest, extend it out, pushing the floor away, reaching back. And on this last one, we're gonna extend both legs. So extending the bottom leg as well, pushing through this arm on the floor to reach up and back, and then lowering down all the way onto our elbows, onto the forearms, legs come up. This time we're gonna open up knees and then toes and circle them as low as we can, keeping the pelvis tucked, bring it back in and up. And then holding here, you can flutter those legs. If you wanna come off the elbows, you can. If you want to add some twists, you can. If you just want to hang out in happy baby pose, you can. <laughs> so whatever feels good for you today. This time as we come back, legs come up, we're going to add those TikToks. So we're going to keep the knees together. Right leg goes down to about four o'clock. Left leg goes back down to about seven. Do that a couple times. Maybe add some full circles all the way around the clock. 
and open up that big money shot, clothes and bicycle. I'm gonna roll that bicycle side to side. So again, whatever side I'm leaning on is my straight leg. Then I'm gonna come up to my opposite hand to roll it side to side. So the more tight my core can be, the more curled my pelvis is, the easier it's gonna be. And if that means coming up a little bit higher, sitting up a little bit taller, instead of being out here, right? Come up to your hands, keeping that curl nice and tight. From here, we're gonna add in our final abs. So coming up to our hands, drawing our knees into chest, we can extend out, knees tuck in. You can do this once, three times, five times, up to you. And then we wanna do straddles. So straddling up, pushing through the hands. And then finally, we're gonna go for pikes. So straight legs as high as we can go. Okay, and then give your abs some love. They've been working hard. <laughs> Sitting back up into that bent knee position, go ahead and drop your knees over to one side and then really extend out through the opposite side with your head, neck, shoulders. Good work. Up and over. One more time. Last little bit of hips, extending out the top leg, opening up to your fan in the middle and tucking them back in. So we'll go open and close. Open and close. And on that final one, tuck both knees in. Here's a little uh, pole dancing trick. Whenever you wanna come up to your knees, make sure both feet are tucked behind you. If one's in front, it's really hard to get up. So if you tuck both feet behind you, you can just come straight up to the knees. And we'll do our final hip circles. So make sure your knees are on the mat. Mine are so used to being on the floor. It's not a big deal. You might want knee pads, um, but mine are pretty broken in. So hands on hips. We're gonna push hips back. Allow the head to fall forward. As we circle around, really pushing the hips forward as we continue all the way around the circle. So allowing the head, neck, shoulders, everything to just be heavy on that circle. If you wanna bring the arms up and overhead, it's a little bit more work a little bit more extension and we'll go back the other way maybe get one with the arms well there you go that's my uh, typical sexy fitness warm-up stretch that I generally try to do before each class. And I don't know, it just makes you feel so good. I would love to do more stuff with you. Keep us all moving and feeling sexy and healthy.